Uh, Ronnie, how would you describe what you inherited on this defensive line? How would I describe what I inherited? Uh, you know, obviously, uh, they're a group that's, uh, they're eager. Uh, uh, you know, obviously, you know, they're, they're taking coaching. Uh, I think the guys are buying into it. Uh, you know, it's a little bit different, you know, especially schematically, uh, where, you know, last year they were more mirror step. You know, we were more of attack, react. Uh, so, you know, the guys are buying into it. They're taking the coaching, you know, trying to understand what we want, trying to play vertical, uh, trying to play on two yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. You know, actually today, I thought we actually took a step forward. Uh, look forward to going up there watching the film and uh, seeing if that's true. But I really thought today probably was probably the best practice they've had all spring. So obviously, if, if, if that's the case, and we can come out here again on Thursday and be a little bit better, and then, then again build on that and be better on Saturday, I definitely think we'll be trending in the right direction. Have any of those guys stood out to you so far? For me? Would you? Who from that group um, has stood out for you so far? Well, I think, uh, you know, BY has, uh, you know, definitely in, continued to improve and get better. You know, he takes coaching. Uh, he works on the little things that we point out in the film session. Uh, so right now, you know, I think he's a, he's a guy that's trending upward. But there, there are several guys that are that are working, and uh, and they're and they're pointing in the right direction, you know. Uh, so you know, we just got to collectively, we've got to get better, uh, you know, so we can achieve the goals and dreams that we've set for ourselves. Coach, when you when you look at this this defensive line group and and going up against this offense and practice, and I know you guys are doing individual stuff as well, but how would you rate? how your group has been able to adapt going up against such a high speed type of offense. And, uh, and what do you think of their endurance and how that's paid off from, from winter workouts? Well, you know, obviously, you know, I think it's going to pay dividends as far as, you know, teaching them guys how to stay poised, you know, and how to play with confidence. You know, they got to get their feet and their eyes set and they got to be able to execute, communicate, you know, get all 11 guys on the same page so we can execute our calls and uh, we can play uh, good defense. So, you know, this is definitely going to help us going forward, you know, because in this league now, there's several teams you know, that are doing pace, you know, and it's hurry up, no huddle. So it's, it's going to help them acclimate us and get us used to that for the fall. Brent Hubs, Ben McKee. Yeah, Coach, two, two things. One, with your group, has it been more about kind of getting them to gain confidence or is it more about breaking maybe bad habits or is it just a new scheme in terms of the adjustment? And two, I know it's very early in terms of recruiting, but is it different recruiting to Tennessee now than it was in, in your first run here uh, in the late 90s? You know, I don't, I don't know that I would say, you know, it's bad habits, you know, obviously schematically. Uh, you know, they were different than what we what we are. Uh, so, you know, you know, we're just trying to teach them, uh, you know, the fundamentals and the technique required for them to play in our scheme and, and getting them to understand that uh, how everything fits, how it all ties together and getting those guys to play relentless with relentless effort with physicality and uh, just understand the accountability. Uh, 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 making sure that they're in their gaps and they win their gaps. Uh, as far as the recruiting piece, you know, Tennessee's a great product. It's always been a great product. It will always continue to be a great product. So, you know, we've just got to get out here and we got to roll our sleeves up and, and we got to work. I think, I think Coach Height's got a great staff that's got a lot of chemistry. Everybody's working, you know, working hard to, to recruit at a championship level. Uh, to get UT back to elite status. And that's the goal. Uh, and that's what we're not going to lose sight of that goal. And uh, we're going to work. And I do feel that, you know, with the determination and being diligent and staying on task, I think we'll be successful because this is such a great, great program with a great history, great tradition. Uh, you know, this just hit a little rough spot. 
Uh, but there are some there are some pieces here, and we've got to, We've got to find some elite pieces to put with it uh, to help us get back to the level that we want to play at. Coach, you've got a, a couple of defensive linemen who have played under three coaching staffs and and even more defensive line coaches uh, specifically. Do, with those veterans, do you find it's easier for them to adjust to you because they, they've seen kind of several D-line coaches or is it harder uh, because they have seen so much and they haven't really been able to, you know, focus in on, on one way of doing things over the course of their career? Well, uh, I think you're going to have to talk to them. Uh, it's like I told them when we first met, you know, this is not a democracy. Uh, this is a benevolent dictatorship. Uh, that means it's loving, uh, but it is only one way. And that's the only way it is. They do not vote. Uh, I have the only vote. Uh, I am the chief. They're all Indians. And uh, so that's how we're gonna do things. So it has not been as much pushback uh as you would think i think they're they and obviously you know they're, they're kids i was that age one time you were too they're always going to try to test it and see where the where the line is and where how far they can take it but as long as you stay consistent in, in your message and, and what you're preaching and what you're teaching you know but i do think that you know they are buying into the teaching and they do see a body of work that you know I've been able to produce you know through my throughout my career and I think it does add some credibility to it and then obviously like I try to tell them we just don't drill just to drill uh every drill we do I want them to be able to see that at some point in a scrimmage now they can see hey you know that's the drill we did you know that's what we were trying to work on that's what we were trying to accomplish and I think that continues to add credibility to what you're doing. Eric Kane and Patrick Brown. Hey, Ronnie, kind of on that note there with the upperclassmen, have you seen guys step up who are being leaders this spring um, already? And if so, who are those players? Oh, yeah, we've got some guys that are trying and uh, they're buying in, you know. You know, I think, you know, Matt Butler, you know, he wants to be a leader. Uh, he tries to, he's a, he's a coach pleaser. You know, he tries to do things the right way, you know, you know, and there, you know, I, I definitely think he's a guy, you know, Blakely is another guy that's an older guy that I think, you know, that, you know, he wants to, to go out uh, and change the narrative uh, of what his career has been like here. I think he holds on to every word that you says that you say and try to do it right, you know. So, you know, both of those kids, as far as being older, uh, I think they have, you know, probably set the tone there. And then, you know, I say the young guy would probably be uh, B.Y., you know, and, you know, you just see him hang on to every little thing that you say. And, you know, he takes it from the film room, you know, to the field and tries to correct it. And, you know, and they're all working hard, you know. And, and it's a process. And that's the thing that, you know, like I told them, they got to embrace the process. Uh, you know, not just tolerate the drills, you know, go out there and try to get better, uh, try to become a master of their craft, uh, you know, and, and that's the challenge, you know, just, you know, every day we hit that field, let's try to be a little bit better. Hey, Ronnie, with, with so many guys back that have played a lot and, and maybe some some young guys that have some ability as well, how much are you, are you pushing competition for starting spots and, and rotation spots right now? Or at this early stage, is it more about teaching and coaching and, and trying to get guys to improve and, and trying to get the group overall to improve? Well, well like we say, you know, you know, this, we're in a performance base, uh, you know, you know, profession, you know, so you know, every day is based off your performance. You know, I, I took them back to, you know, when in 2013, you know, when, when you know, we went, when I went back to Auburn, uh, you know, and you look at that season when we, when we took a three and 19 and went 12 and two uh, and played for the national championship. I, I think if you'll look back, you know, I had 12 different, I mean, I had 10 different starting lineups, you know, that year as far as the defensive line goes. And with, what that, does, that did, it created healthy competition and it made guys work hard and practice and just understanding that, hey, man, if I go out and I do it and I show that I can play at a championship level, 
then I'm going to be rewarded. And then that's the way we're going to try to do things here. We're going to reward the guys that are doing it the right way, uh, you know, on and off the field, uh, that are executing at a high level, uh, and that's showing that they're trustworthy and that they're going to be where they're supposed to be and, and that they're going to execute the call. Last question, Matt Ray. Hey, Rodney, hope you're doing well. Uh, you touched on, you know, this probably being the best day for your group so far. What was different today? What were you able to see from them that, you know, were closer to the expectations that you have? I'll be honest with you. I thought the guys came out today with great focus. And I'll be honest with you, I was worried. I really was because we had a few guys down, nicked up. And I really didn't know what to expect. You know, <laughs> I was ready to go out there and, and – uh, and, 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 and have to be full metal. Uh, but the guys showed up, they came to work. I mean, they executed, you know, from, 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 from period one all the way through period 25. And, and I just saw them take a step. And, and I thought, you know, after practice, we, when we called them up, we talked about it. I told them that doesn't it feel good, you know, when, when you're doing it the right way, you know, and, and, and when you make those strides and then you start to feel a little bit of confidence and you start to execute, you know, the calls that Coach Banks is making and, and you see when we do execute it, you know, how we're having some success, you know, with what we're calling, you know. So just getting them to buy in and, and just, you know, see when they have that success, you know, I think it's going to carry over. And like I told them, I'm, I'm looking forward to grading the film tonight. You know, we meet with them in the morning at 7. Uh, so I hope the film looks <laughs> similar to some things that I saw. Uh, but we will find out here shortly. Thank you, Coach, for your time.